Hello, we are at Half Price Books today. I am in search of um, a couple things for a birthday that we have coming up in our family. Isabel's turning seven. So we are checking out Half Price Books, which I have never been to, ever. I really like this store. It reminds me growing up of going to like Barnes and Noble and just like walking around for hours. You remember that? It's so funny here. Girls, you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, snuck away and secretly got the goods. Now we're on to Party City. Isabel, what's your theme? Harry Potter. Harry Potter is what we're looking for. We are moving up in the world of like big kid party, I feel like, not princess and butterfly and mermaid. So this is new for me. Okay, we found Harry Potter we're not, aisle. We're not getting it. Here's the stuff. Julian had one, Ooh, what's this? Oh, slime. Oh, tattoos. That's cool. The golden cup. Napkins and. Okay. Wow, this is awesome, Isa. You want to get that? Okay. I think we could get that. What's that down there? You found Joel. Oh, suspension candles. That's pretty cool. Oh yes. Ones. So we're here today. Typically I don't do Party City decor. I either, typically I make my own to be honest. This is the first time I'm like buying decorations. Um, but with a baby and going back to work, I just don't have time to be honest. So we are buying decorations, but I actually ordered some and I got a notification yesterday that the shipping was delayed and it was maybe gonna arrive today, but not likely and it's today and it's not here. No tracking updates either, so it's gonna be late and unfortunately with a birthday, you can't just be late. You, you miss the birthday, so that's why we're here, doing the best we can to make sure we have decorations for Isabel's birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on her cake now. She wanted like a trifle basically. Um, and it's funny because last year, she started a trend at our house, like not having a traditional birthday cake, which was always my thing. Like I just loved making them beautiful cakes to the theme that they wanted. And last year she just wanted like a German chocolate cake, which it was totally fine, but she didn't want like the decorations. She just wanted it plain old German chocolate cake with candles and that was it. Fine, happy to do what she wanted, but there was a part of me that was like, you know, I wanna decorate this cake, but at least she's having a cake, whatever. But it started a trend because then Jul Rosemary, she got this, what I'm making now for her birthday, and then Juliana, she didn't want a cake at all. She only wanted ice cream, so I didn't even get to make a cake for her at all. And now here we are, birthday again, and now Isabel wants what Rosemary had, so again, it's like just another cake that I can't decorate. So I got, I ordered um, a little Harry Potter happy birthday banner with like the people or whatever on it. And it came on like two toothpick type things that I could just put in the trifle. That's another thing that's not coming on time. So now I have no decor. I didn't decorate the cake. There's no cake topper. It's just... I really feel like I'm failing in motherhood for this birthday. She's not having a birthday party like with friends, just with us. I kind of last year stopped the trend of having a big, huge blowout birthday for every single birthday because with so many kids, like it's just getting a lot. So unless it's a major milestone birthday, we kind of are just celebrating with our family only. So, it's just like I do, I kind of feel <laughs> like a failure um, at the moment. So hopefully she doesn't feel that way. Hopefully she feels like it's still the best birthday ever. Um, but I definitely have, you know, less and less time to put towards decorating and making things from scratch and doing all the things. And then especially like when she doesn't want a specialty cake, that's like, the thing that like I would do, she doesn't want it. So yeah, here we are. And I don't even have a trifle pan or, you know, bowl. 
but I feel like that's why any bowl will do. And if you don't know exactly what trifle is, it's like a layered dessert. And so this one is a box of chocolate cake. That was just what I put in there first. And this here is vanilla pudding. So we're gonna do vanilla pudding and chocolate pudding, both. So I'll put the vanilla pudding and just kind of spread it around. And then I'm gonna do the chocolate pudding on top. And the good thing about doing this right now is I really think that the flavor of this dessert should be made the day before the birthday because it just gets better with time, I think. So now I'm gonna do the chocolate pudding here and keep layering. You also do whipped cream. You do caramel uh, sauce and a hot fudge sauce. And then you do nuts like pecans. That's what I like to use, so pecans. And then a, I think they're butter brickles is like technically what they're called, something like Heath Bar. And so I use those. So Heath Bar, I had trouble finding at the store. And so I had to get the mini bars and then like take a mallet and chop them myself. So they're not quite as uh, small as I typically make them. Hopefully people like chunks of Heath. I actually feel like that would be really good, um, but not everybody's me. So hopefully that turns out fine. And then I went to pull out my pecans. I totally forgot that I used the last of them when I last made a batch of granola. So I have zero pecans. So I was like, well, that's okay. I'll just use um, walnuts. So I pulled out my walnuts and I only had just a tiny bit, but I was like, whatever, a little bit of nuts is better than none. Tasted one just to you know, make sure they've gone bad. They are horrible. So threw those away. I will not be able to add nuts at this moment. I think I still might try to grab some at the store, either send Dan out and just put the nuts on top rather than mixed in, or get some like after church on the way home tomorrow so that I can still have nuts in it. Um, but again, just another fail. We are failing all over the place today and this week and for this birthday, it feels like so. <laughs> Also, I um, I will do a whole other video on exactly what I got her. I am going to wrap them today, but I we also dropped the ball on what we wanted her big gift to be this year. I think we've decided that we want it to be, it was between a keyboard and um, a bow and arrow, actually. She's really into bow and arrow and like hitting things with a target archery i guess i should say but i had some safety concerns with that because of you know the littler kiddos that we have in our house and i wouldn't want to get her one of like the little ones with suction type stuff on it you know so little safety concerns and then for like a decent quality one they're like a hundred bucks and it's like, what if she only plays with it once and she's really into it now, but not into it in the future? So I was a little hesitant on that. And then the other idea was um, a piano. She got a violin for Christmas, which she has just loved, but because she can't do lessons, it's been harder for her to figure out. She can't do lessons, not because we don't allow it, but she just is so consumed with gymnastics right now and she doesn't want to quit that that she just doesn't have time. Um, so piano, she also is interested in, and I feel like she could learn that more on her own through YouTube or through just messing around on the keyboard. Plus, it's much easier. Her godmother actually is a wonderful pianist and does lessons, so easy to get lessons for us on our schedule. So I feel like that'd be something she could do in her free time, she could learn, she could like do but kind of same issue. We just were back and forth. We didn't plan it well enough. And so by the time we decided that's probably what we were gonna do, it was too late to order and get on time for her birthday. So again, just another fail. We still, maybe I'll just like, I don't know, make a little card that says you're gonna get this 
could still do it for a birthday, but I don't know, kind of a fail. So anyway, here's the last step, which is the heat until we buy the nuts. So kind of once you have all the pieces made, it's really an easy cake to put together. And I will admit it is pretty delicious. My husband's family, there are a few in his family that do this for their birthday. That's how I even found out about this dessert. Here we have it. I don't know how I'm gonna write happy birthday on it, but it's gonna taste good. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance.